Aberdeen have went for the oldest sheep in the barn. Welcome back to Fog Football. And <laughs> Neil... <laughs> Big Neil Warnick is set to be named interim manager until the summer. Of course, he's 75. He's kind of done it all. He's a journeyman. He had a diddy playing career. He had a bit of a better managerial career. But I think this is quite desperate for Aberdeen, in my personal opinion. This guy is simply just getting the job because... It's almost like a cool action scene. He said he, oh, he's always wanted to manage in the Scottish League against the old firm. And it seems like Aberdeen have just lapped it up and went, I will we'll take that. I don't think a manager should be getting appointed on that basis. Do you rate this guy? Is I'm going guy... to be honest. I, I think in terms of a, a coup for Aberdeen, I, I think they've done well getting someone of Neil Warnick's name. But I think it's a horrible appointment. I've never really rated him as a manager. I understand because he's... Being in England and being in the Premier League, though, that he's going to be on a high salary and he's got a high status and he, he's, you know, pretty much got positively thought of. But for me, that this isn't a guy that's going to take Aberdeen forward. I, I see him coming in and being an absolute failure. He's 75. The average 75-year-old shouldn't really be in charge of anything, in my opinion. No. Never mind be managing in, a football club. It's, should be sitting in their wee armchair drinking whiskey. Not sitting in the hot seat at Aberdeen, a club that desperately needs change. Like we say, it is only until the end of the season. It's not like he signed a five-year deal, and I don't think they would give a 75-year-old a five-year deal. But anyway, let's look at his history. Let's look at his managerial career. He is 75. He will be 76 uh, in December, so that's irrelevant because he will not last till December because he's going to be given the job up in May. But he started off at Gainsborough Trinity. Then he went to Burton Albion, Scarborough. Notts County, Torquay United, Huddersfield Town, Plymouth, Oldham, Bury. Right, so that takes us up to the 21st century. Do any of those teams make you go, oh, that's brilliant? No, it's all... It's, all I mean, it's 20 years of pish in I mean, my eyes. It, it's all lower league English crap. I mean, that's, that's all it is, really. Yep, so let's go into the 21st century. We've got Sheffield United, Crystal Palace... Queen's Park Rangers, Leeds United, Crystal Palace, Queen's Park Rangers again, Rotherham United, Cardiff City, Middlesbrough, Huddersfield Town as his last job, most recently last year. So he's a journeyman. He's probably a, a slightly less successful Roy Hodgins. Well, way less. At least he managed England, man. Right, well, we, we, all right, then way less successful. He managed fucking Liverpool? Oh, come uh, on. And he was pish. I put a bit of respect on Big Roy <laughs> pitching next name. And he was fucking shit. No, he was. Like, but, and he managed Fulham? I, well, he done all right at Fulham, actually. You know what I mean? He, he done no bad at Fulham. All right, then. He's a way less successful version of Roy Hodgson. You just said that because he's, he's an old white guy. About the same age. <laughs> he fucking plucked they've that. They've got similarities. They're, they're basically the same age. They've had the same parallel careers. The only difference is Roy Hodgson has managed some bigger clubs. See, at the end of the day, right? Had he's a bit a, more success. Do you know he supports Rangers? Neil Warnock? Aye. Didn't know that. So there you go. No, but is I, that going to go down on Tuesday, by the way? I, I had, I, if Aberdeen were signing... Roy Hodgins, I'd say it's a bad signing. I'd say it's a bad appointment. So I'm going to double down and say that Neil Warnock's an even worse appointment. I don't think at 75 you really offer anything. I think once you're approaching 70, you should probably give it up. Even the best managers, Fenger, by, you know what I mean? By the time Fenger was like late 60s, he was not that good anymore. You know, you're right. But do Aberdeen really want a guy that's going to be rocking up to Celtic Park and Ibrox and being like, you know, taken in by the atmosphere, or do they want a guy that's going to actually fucking want points for the old firm? And, but, like, this isn't going to be a cheap appointment. I'm going to assume that Neil Warnock will be on a, a decent wage. Yep. And if he's already decided, not that at 75, you don't really have much long term there anyway, but if he's already decided that he's leaving at May, like, what can he really do? What can they achieve? It's almost like Aberdeen have just written off this season and they're just trying to get a little bit of stability until the end of the year. Like, why are they paying this money for Neil Warnock to come in and and leave at me? It makes no sense to me. Why not give the... If they want time, if they want to wait to the summer and make the right appointment, why not just give the guy that took over at the weekend the job? Yeah, tell, tell me. Why not keep why not keep I mean, the guy got The guy got a point against Celtic. Should have won. I, I honestly think Neil Warnock could come in and I think we could see Aberdeen just free fall. 
You look at his uh, win percentages here and... There's nothing overly impressive. Overall, it's 40%. Now, I will give him the benefit of the doubt and say most of his jobs have been in the Championship or lower end of the Premier League or League One, so therefore, you know, you're not really expected to win every game. But to have win percentages of, like, 17 and 24 and 31, I mean, that, what is that all about? That's stinking. Uh, it's not impressive, is it? I mean, his highest is 50, which I think... It, it doesn't ain't too bad, but he only played four games. Or For me, there's a man that knows Scottish football well. He's, he's had a lot of success from Scottish football, and he's currently looking a job. And I just do not know why Aberdeen are not appointing him. Neil Francis Lennon. That's the one. Aberdeen fans wanted him. Plus, the fact his rivalry with Rangers, I'm sure he'd love to go to Aberdeen. He'd love to stick up to Rangers. Of course he would. No, I mean, I'm sure he would relish that. The fact that he'd be managing a team that has got a big rival against Rangers. So, I mean, I think Neil Lennon would definitely be interested in the job. I mean, if Aberdeen don't want him, then maybe Hibernian should take him back. Because Hib Hibs haven't looked a good side since he left. No, they haven't. That's the last time Hibs were consistently a good team. Have they had some good performances? Of course, every team does that. But in terms of consistently for a season, looking good, looking dangerous... Hibs haven't been that good since they got rid of Neil Francis Lennon, who did, I believe, in his last season at Hibs, secure a tally of 71 points. Well, it's not, which is not only very impressive, but, I mean, we've seen that being enough to get you second in previous years. Yeah, and also, right, I think this move is going to be a bit, I mean, it's box office the right word. I think he is a bit of a, he's got a bit of a following. You see on social media, he is a bit of a meme, so to speak, but is that really a reason to say? I'd rather Craig Levine. Yeah, this is a fucking dinosaur, make no mistake about it, and it's not an, that's not an ageless comment. This is a dinosaur, and it's not like a good dinosaur, it's not like you're digging up fucking T-Rex or Alex Ferguson, you know what I mean? This is a, this is a guy that's making a meat eater. This is one of those... Carnivore? No, not uh, carnivore. Uh, no, uh, they're the ones that eat meat. Ah, uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, om Omnivorous, uh, begins with an O or something. Uh, Omnivore, hi, uh, uh, some fucking vegetarian. Look, I don't like Jurassic Park, it's a load of pish, but this guy belongs there, right? He's old, he's done, he's a fossil. Although, this guy was probably not even born the last time Aberdeen won a trophy, so if you don't count the League Cup in 2014, because <laughs> Aberdeen are pish, so you know what? Maybe, maybe, um, it probably, you know, he'll fit right in, you know, that's what it is. Is what it is, guys. Anyway, Neil Warnock coming to Aberdeen just in time for his uh, If he's a Rangers team. fan, does this mean that Aberdeen are going to now lay down? Hopefully. I'll take it. They're going to lie down against Rangers and turn up against Celtic. It would make a nice wee change, wouldn't it? Aye. It would, guys. Anyway, big Neil. Neil, new manager. Let's go. They got the wrong Neil. Uh, Frank Neil should have got Neil They were linked with Alex Neil. Remember him? He's not been there. He's irrelevant. What's he done the past 10 years? Part for he'd butt What's somebody. What's this guy done? Hee haw. Hee haw. Anyway, guys, Neil Warnock, he's done. 75. 75 summers. Shelby's.